on the defensive there. Coming up, it's our main event. Rob Salazar and Charlton Young. It's the United States Light Heavyweight Championship. Time for our main event, Charlton Young against Rob Salazar. Nine rounds for the Light Heavyweight Championship in the United States. There's a look at Charlton Young. 20 wins, six losses, and one tie. A guy that has a number of tools. He lacked dedication at one time in his career. Now he trains seven days a week. Here's a profile of Charlton Young. Charlton Young of Shreveport makes a third try for a title as he challenges Rob Salazar for the United States Light Heavyweight Championship. Young's record includes 15 knockouts out of 20 wins, but he has not yet been able to win a big one. Young last appeared on ESPN when he unsuccessfully challenged Cedric Rogers. He needs to beat Salazar to stay in the race for a world title. This is my third shot at Rob Salazar. I have no predictions about tonight. I do want the United States Light Heavyweight title but I'm just going to fight to the best of my ability and may the best man win. Genuinely a nice guy when you see him out of the ring, but of course he'll be a violent guy tonight and he goes up against Rob Salazar. Salazar there, of course, a guy that is perhaps at the crossroads of his career. He wants another shot at Dennis Alexio, but he's been out of the ring since his last bout, which was a loss to Alexio. Here's a profile of Rob. United States light heavyweight champion Rob Salazar returns to the ring tonight for a third fight with challenger Charlton Young. Salazar made his first title defense against Young in August of 1983. Well, and I think Charlton Young is showing uh, signs of fatigue. He has lost the power in his punch. Oh, he knocked him down with a right. I no sooner said that he dropped him with a right. His corner called for that right hand, and two seconds later he threw it. It dropped Salazar. Salazar's got blood coming out of his right ear. Salazar is in trouble. Salazar nearly goes out of the ring. Young has got to move in and take advantage of this. Another right, a left right. He's got to look and pick his shots. He's got Salazar in trouble. Can he win by a knockout? He's got time left. He's got 25 seconds left. And Salazar's turning around. Salazar's landing the hard shots now. What a fight! Right down to the last second. Oh, he's spinning back fist and he went down. That was a slip. Some blood coming right out from under the right ear of Rob Salazar. There will not be a knockout. There's, oh, a right. A right after the bell. He couldn't hear the bell. Salazar could not hear the bell and the punch was on the way. What a finish to the fight. June 1984, Chicago, Illinois, defending his U.S. title and with his hometown fans screaming their support, Salazar continued his move to a world championship bout as he battled Florida's Eddie Abel for nine tough rounds. The successful defense of his United States championship earned Salazar the right to meet Dennis Alexio in Sacramento in September to fill the vacant world championship power late in this by Alexio. In the 12th round, a double round kick. He put the foot down in between, went to the body, back to the head. That's like a boxer's double left hook where he'll go to the body and back to the head. And this is the final round. Well, I know these guys have taken a lot of punishment and they've gone 12 rounds, but this crowd and Joe Coley and I'd like to see a lot more, but unfortunately this is it. 15 seconds to go in the title fight. Look at Salazar as he just tries to gamely keep coming on on Alexio. Closing second, you'll hear a tremendous ovation for both of these fighters at the bell, and there it is. The 33-year-old Salazar has had a long and successful career. A loss against Charlton Young could be the beginning of the end, while a win would put Salazar in line for another shot at champion Dennis Alexio. There is a look at Rob Salazar and his corner people that are on hand with him. And they're a fine, fine corner. In fact, both of these guys have been graced with great handlers in uh, Charlton Young, Ray Paxton, and Rusty Thames, and Mike McNamara, along with Rick Weber, uh, in the corner of uh, Rob Salazar. Let's look now at how these guys match up against one another. John Worley, how do you rate them in each of these categories? 
Well, on punching skills, I give the advantage to Salazar. He's really very strong with his hands. On kicking ability, though, the, the, the advantage really is young by a long margin. He's very skillful and very dexterous. Offense is uh, Salazar's strength. He doesn't know how to fight any other way. Uh, defense there is on young side because, again, he's uh, Salazar doesn't have a defense, really. On power, I, Salazar is stronger, but Young has more knockouts. So that's kind of an even, Steven, look at that one. On finesse, Young is certainly the slicker of the two fighters. But on desire, really, nobody wants to win any more than Rob Salazar. So that's how they shape up now with the introductions of our fighters. Here is public address announcer Warren Bradley. Ladies and gentlemen, a nine-round bout for the United States Light Heavyweight Championship. The, introducing first. In the blue corner, from Shreveport, Louisiana, he is 24 years old, stands 5 foot and 11 inches tall, and weighed in at 176 pounds. He has a contact karate record of 20 wins, 6 losses, with 15 of his wins by knockout. He is the PKA's number 4 world-ranked light heavyweight contender. Welcome, please, Charlton Young. Young. And in the red corner, from Glen Ellen, Illinois, he is 33 years old, is six foot two inches tall, and weighed in at 179 pounds. He has a contact karate record of 18 wins, five losses, with eight of his wins by the knockout. He is the PKA's number one world rank light heavyweight contender. He is the PKA United States light heavyweight champion. Welcome, please. Rob Salazar, Salazar. The referee for this United States championship bout is Bill Clark. Okay, gentlemen, I want this to be a clean fight, so I want you to obey my commands. If I tell you to stop, I want you to protect yourself, keep your hands up, and stop punching and kicking. If I send you to a corner, you must stay there till I call you out. If you come out early, I will send you back to the corner. No holding or clenching or trapping each other's gloves. You both understand the holding rule. When you step back, we'll bow to me, to each other, and make it a great fight. These are two men that genuinely have a lot of respect for one another. There is the challenger, Charlton Young. Bob Salazar and he have gone toe-to-toe -to -toe a couple of times, and Salazar would be the first to tell you that his opponent tonight right. is a game one. Oh, absolutely, I don't think there's any question. Right. Both of these fighters uh, have really got a lot of heart, a lot of spirit, and they both got a, a lot to gain from winning tonight and a lot to lose from losing. So this should be a very, very hard fought competitive battle. Salazar, take his age of 33, is in a position where if he's gonna make a move for the world championship, there's no tomorrow, it must be today. He absolutely has to make his move right away. He's getting to the point where he's got to consider going ahead and hanging up. Here we go. Round number one, we're scheduled for 12. Young and black, Salazar and red. Crowd, of course, will more than likely be on the side of Charlton Young, Shreveport, just 60 miles from Longview, Texas. Charlton Young looks a little tight starting out here, as does Rob Salazar. It's been a while since they've been in the ring. Just that quickly, down to the canvas, a slip. Being given to Charlton Young, they're giving him a standing eight count as he came through. What well, appeared to be a slip. It looked like a slip from here, and uh, Bill Clark not wanting to take any chances if anybody was hurt. Make sure he gives the benefit, uh, takes the benefit of the doubt there. So he went ahead and gave the eight count. Young wasn't hurt, and the crowd sure didn't like it. Well, a lot of young fighters would be deterred somewhat by that, but Young has been around for some time and more than likely won't let it bother him. Well, he knows he's got a long way to go, and also the judges won't take that too heavy in their scoring since they realize that nobody was hurt on that, on that uh, knockdown. Young is the type of guy that swings to score. Salazar swings to take his man out. Now you'll see Salazar using this back leg front kick as they sit there and mix it in the corner, which is his best kick. He'll drive a back leg into the, the opponent oh, at least six or eight times. There it is, each round, minimum six, eight times each round, every round. 
and he'll throw him to the body, throw him to the body, and he'll come up and sneak him up to the head. Young, a very adept kicker, and he's scoring nicely. Coming down to the end of round number one. We're scheduled for nine for the United States Light Heavyweight Championship. Not a bad first round. You can certainly tell that these two guys know a great deal about one another. They started off at kind of a get acquainted pace. It's been a while since they've seen each other. We're showing to the young corner right now and pick up some of that conversation. Keep your hands up a little bit high, all right? Give him a little drink. Feeling okay? Yeah. Here's a look at that slip that did give a mandatory eight count. They got a standing eight count here. I tell you what, that was a front kick that did did get in and did knock him down. There's that front kick coming up to the face. Salazar fools people with that. He throws it to the body so frequently they start dropping those elbows and he pulls it right up between their hands and goes to the head. You're doing the kicks right. You see that on a replay like that in slow motion and you get the feeling that it had to really hurt. But if you look at Rob Salazar, Young came right back. Didn't seem to bother him at all. Well, it jarred him a little bit. It didn't have a knockout power uh, with it, but it did, definitely had its effect. How did you score it in the first round? I had it 10-10 in the first round, even. And maybe after looking at that knockdown, I may have agreed with Bill Clark and want to hedge my bet there a little bit, but it's too late now. I live with 10-10. Young in black, Salazar in red. Young, you, you get the feeling he needs room to score. He wants to throw those kicks, and he does have so much finesse. I was just going to say, if I were in Young's corner, I would have him move a lot, hit, and try to work on outscoring Salazar over the, the course of the uh, of the nine rounds rather than getting toe-to-toe -to -toe and going strength with him. Boy, that's a beautiful move by Young. Didn't score. It was blocked nicely by Salazar. Young trying to throw a little fake there by stepping around as if he's going to throw a spinning kick and then following up with a back round kick. But Salazar is pretty experienced. He hasn't been fooled yet. Landed on nothing but leather. Good right by Salazar that jarred Young that time. Good short right. Those are the best kind. The kind that travel about six inches are the ones that do the most damage. There's another one. Oh, the left-right combination jarred Young inside. Charlton Young is in trouble right now, just a little bit of trouble. He got had to get back and hang on because Salazar is getting to him now. He is getting to him with the right-hand lead. Good left-right combination from Salazar trying to make short work of Young here at the end of round two. Young holding on a bit. There's blood coming down from the eye of Charlton Young, his left eye. A right-left that puts him down. Bell saved him that time, perhaps, and we could certainly see it coming. Oh, he was definitely hurt from about, with about 30 or 40 seconds left in the round. He was in trouble, and he managed to hang in and hang on, but Salazar pounded away, put him down right at the bell. It'll be interesting to see how well he does in this next round. I understand. Charlton Young uh, being, being spoken to now by Ray Paxton. Here's a replay of the knockdown coming in the second round. But once again, Salazar doing what he's famous for, and that's putting pressure on, keeping pressure on, and staying on top of the man. Here's another angle of the same barrage of punches. We see a good uppercut fall with the left hand and in the right there. Just, I tell you, he was in big trouble right there. He's very lucky the bell sounded when it did. A communications major at LSU and the Shreveport branch. He'd like to be in television someday, but right now he needs to avoid punches. And there's Salazar, whose son, Jesse, only 22 months of age, is already working out with him. I bet he is. Mike McNamara over in Salazar's corner, I'm sure he's telling him, look, go ahead and get after him this round. It's going to be a long two rounds for Charlton Young. McNamara himself a former champion. He won the Battle of Atlanta in 74, and it was that win for McNamara that spawned this talent that is Rob Salazar. Good left, right again. As we start round three, and you get the feeling Charlton Young still 
not all together after the barrage of punches that he consumed in round two. We know from past history that Charlton Young is dangerous when he is hurt. Oh, that right snuck through and grazed Salazar along the brow. Good right by Salazar that crunched Young. He's back in the corner again. Young has made the same mistake over and over in that he's allowing Salazar to come over his front hand with the right hand lead. Well, he's really on the defensive right now. It's all Rob Salazar. He's punching at Young as though he were Alexio had there been a 13th round back in September. If Charlton Young had a better defensive front leg, he would take away that right hand lead, but he doesn't have a front side kick. He does not have a defensive front side kick, and that means Salazar can step in there and not worry about the front leg. Charlton Young has been... Charlton Young has been hurt in this bout. He has been on the defensive, has walked into a number of those punches, and Salazar has really taken all of the punch out of those legs of Charlton Young. Charlton Young is really just hanging in this round. If he can get through this round without being hurt again, then he ought to be coming back in the fourth and be okay. Trying to stay away from those combinations coming from Salazar. Coming down now to the close of round number three. A round in which Young came in strictly to Hang on. Oh, there's that right hand once again. Oh, a great left right from Salazar. Young reeling on the ropes. Hey, hey. Close of the round. Young again consumes more punches. You're getting too anxious, Rob. You can move too After tired. three rounds, it has been all Rob Salazar. Why are people all across the nation calling to subscribe to USA Today? Senator Howard Baker. Here is Salazar with some devastating blows in the third round. Oh, once again, this is that straight right, right over in the left hand of Charlton Young. Young has not made any adjustments to avoid that, and he's been hit with five or six real good solid ones. He's going to have to make some changes. At the close of round Ooh. number three, even more blows. He's going to have to make some changes, or Rob Salazar will continue to do that to him as long as he can sing in there. Round number four, scheduled for nine. Salazar the champion, Young the challenger. Salazar in red and Young in black. This is their third meeting. Wait, wait. Last time these two met, it was much more competitive than it's been to this point. I tell you, I'm really surprised and very, very, very pleasantly surprised at Rob Salazar's performance thus far. I was concerned that perhaps that loss to Alexio would have taken something out of him. And it doesn't look like he's lost a thing. I tell you, he's strong as he's ever been. And he looks real sharp. Even with the, even with the layoff, he looks well, really sharp. observers, John, you know about them, that really felt this was the time for Charlton Young to shine, get his big moment. Well, once again, Charlton Young just having his problems there, dealing with Salazar. He's just trying to move around now and stay involved here, avoid getting that right hand landed again. He can't take many more of those straight rights. Young began in karate at nine years of age. Started with judo, then went on to karate and then boxing. That point that led to PKA. And of course, when PKA came on the scene big time, that was the sport for Young. And he does have the tools, but he's been unable to utilize them against the mature, the very mature Rob Salazar. I've often thought Charlton Young would make a better middleweight than a light heavyweight. He really seems to me that he could lose the six or seven pounds necessary to get down into that middleweight division. Oh, when you look at the two of them, the upper body of Salazar is much larger than Charlton Young. Charlton Young has fought everything from heavyweight to light heavyweight, and I just think he might be better off in middleweight. That's my opinion, but then his trainers, of course, I'm sure know what's best for him. Well, he's been able to stave off his opponent here in this round until the end again when Salazar once again punctuates it with lefts and rights. Every time Charlton Young goes back to that corner, it's after he's been nailed a couple of times. It seems like at the end of each round he gets it. Do good. You understand what I'm saying? Take a deep breath. You got it. You got to work hard now. You stick and move. You throw the right hand behind. A lot of lateral movement. He don't know what to do with it. All right? That's good advice from Ray Paxton. They're telling him to move. Here's the end of the round. 
That one caught him up high on the head, so that really didn't hurt him that bad other than just getting tired and beat up here. The bell sounds and Salazar doesn't hear it and lands a couple more punches to the body. <laughs> yes, Harry, you got a lot on there, Rob. All right, let me see if you there. heard me now. Let me see you do what I told you. You know, they've got a little problem with Salazar. Right He's got a little swelling over that left eye. They've been working on that left eye to keep the swelling down in between the rounds. That could turn into a problem for him. Well, that was a problem for him against Alexio. In fact, that was a heck of a fight the two of them had. And Salazar said that he thought perhaps it was his defense of that left eye, the problem that he had in defensing his left eye against Alexio that cost him a lot of offense in the later rounds of that bout. He had to be very careful about it. That always causes you to change your game plan. Let's take a look at your scoring. Obviously, it's been Salazar, Salazar, and Salazar, I would imagine. Well, you're getting pretty good at this, Tim. Yeah, I've got Salazar on officially 40 to 36 with a commanding lead after four rounds, so Charlton Young's going to have to do some pretty fancy stuff here to get back in this fight. Well, I've learned well in two weeks with John Whirling. Not bad. Keep making that kind of progress, we'll get you a fight. <laughs> well, it certainly would not take a five beta kappa to watch this and know who's on top at the moment. It's been all Rob Salazar. Good in fighting by Charlton Young that time. A couple of left rights that did get in on Salazar, but boy, he's just been a tactician to this point. Salazar really is looking sharp. He is he's making him miss. I have to take back what I said about his defense now. He's making me look bad here. He's got a pretty effective looking defense. He's been moving his head effectively and making Charlton Young miss. So uh, have to retract that, I guess. Right front kick, then a left round kick. Coming from Salazar, two of the three hit. Now Young trying to measure his man in the corner. Does land with a right to the midsection that Salazar grimaced over. Young again with a good combination, and Salazar fights back. Both of these fighters fight awfully well on instinct when they're in trouble. They seem to put it all together when they get a little trouble going. Ten seconds are left now on the fifth. Good left that got in on Charlton Young's chin from Rob Salazar. So it's still Young that's in control, but Salazar at the end of that round is still on top of this match. Hey guys, want to get going? The light screen, what's the matter, buddy? Can't you get the thing started? This thing is an 85 Kawasaki Vulcan and it is definitely started. Hear that shaft drive, the twin, feel that gorgeous liquid, cool power. The problem here? Not at all, officer. Then move it. Sure. This ought to hold me till the next corner. See the 85 Vulcan during Kawasaki's Spring Bash. When do you say L.A.? When I have a lunch meeting with my three biggest customers, I say L.A. Sometimes it's the perfect thing to say. Introducing your ultimate weapon against athlete's foot. New foot. First time in this bout that Young had some control in a round. Well, he sit, did sit, manage to get uh, Salazar back in the corner, and he worked the body pretty well there, landed a couple of decent body blows, but really never really had him in any real trouble. See, Salazar trying to dig that front kick into the body. But Young, those things just hurt. They get to where your elbows hurt, your sides hurt, your kidneys hurt. You just don't want to see that guy's knee come up for another one of those kicks. You hate to even block him. We're in round six. Tim Brando and John Worley, the United States Light Heavyweight Championship from the Bond Cobb Center in Longview, Texas. Rob Salazar in red against Charlton Young in black. I think they've probably told Salazar, now look, there's no sense in going out and trying for a knockout. Just go out here and fight this guy. Work him, work him, and if, it's gonna, if a knockout's going to happen, it'll happen, but don't try to force it. Was last round perhaps a confidence builder, although not textbook for you. Because look at this. A left right. Young with a barrage of punches all landing. The fans are on their feet. More punches coming from Charlton Young. He did grow in confidence in that last round. We got the answer. Not from John Worley, but from Charlton Young. Absolutely. Charlton Young's having his best moments of this fight so far. for an elbow. I think an inadvertent elbow slipped in on one of the fighters. I don't know which one. Well, it appeared to be Salazar that was being warned by Bill Clark. 
Marcelo's are covering up there, so none of those blows really getting through. And a good combination from Salazar, landing on the chin and the side of the head of Charlton Young. I have to wonder if Charlton Young didn't burn up an awful lot of energy in that last uh, flurry that he threw. And Rob Salazar seems to be in good shape now and is likely to come back and try to make uh, Young pay. Well, even with that barrage of punches from Charlton Young, he showed a great deal of desire, but you can't like the scenario if you're in the Young corner, the way this bout is going. No, no, not at all. Can't feel good about it at all. Oh, a good left right again from Salazar at the end of another round. This is crowd. You got the Iran back. You lost the Iran, but you got it back. You know, we got it back, the jabs, the power jabs. Keep throwing them. You hear? Keep throwing the power jabs, Robbie. You're doing beautiful. You better throw a right hook at this guy once in a while. He doesn't have the stamina to go full force. Of full on, so he's trying to knock you out in the first half of the round. That's why he fades so bad in the, in the second half, and that's why he comes on like gangbusters. Okay? So you got to be careful for that. Stay off those ropes. Good advice, advice of Mike McNamara. Good advice from McNamara. They're telling him to not let down, not be, you know, not get careless in the first part of the round because he's trying for a knockout. The head is all torn up now. Rip the body. Here's yep. Young's attack here. He comes across with just a good combination left, right, mixed in a good left round kick to the head. He's really fighting with a lot of desire and a lot of spirit and good intensity. He's got good eye contact there. What different backgrounds for these two. Salazar, the kid who grew up on the south side of Chicago, Glen Ellen, Illinois. Got a low blow that time. Accidental low kick, accidental low kick. They'll give Salazar time to get ready, and he's ready, and we're back to action here. And of course, Young from Shreveport. His parents very supportive of his career. He began in karate and judo at the tender young age of nine. Middle income family, so contrasting backgrounds for both of these fighters. And they've met three times in the ring. It's said that you learn more about a guy in a, in a two minute round fighting him than you can in about 10 years of knowing him. Not a lot of early blows coming from Young in this round, so you have to wonder about his stamina, just as McNamara mentioned in the Salazar corner. He hasn't thrown a lot of leather or a lot of kicks here. He's probably thinking, well, I've got another two rounds to go. Let's save up just a little bit and try to make a real strong finish and see if we can't pull this thing out. Well, remember, Young is 24 years of age, Salazar 33, but normally you'd say that would give the edge to Young, but Salazar just gets better with time and about many times. Well, I tell you, he's always been in great shape. I've never seen Rob Salazar when he wasn't in good shape. And so I don't think that he's going to tire or fade at this point. Ooh, there's that looping right hand that he had so much success with early in the fight. Oh, a good right by Salazar, a round right. Brought some blood from the right nostril of Charlton Young. Young's just coasting this round, trying to make it through the round and get ready to go with the uh, last two, I think. Salazar and Young have two more to go here in Longview, Texas for the United States Live Championship. Look how water can destroy unprotected. Who, to his credit, has hung tough, and uh, there were at least three rounds when he could have easily gone down for the count. Well, anybody with lesser desire would have gone out early in this fight, and Charlton Young is... It's a credit to him, just to the fact that he's still in here, he's still in this fight, and still has a chance to win it, albeit a, a, a slight chance, I'd say. And now Young having a little problem with his foot pad, and what about the scoring to this point? Well, I've got a big edge here for Rob Salazar, 70-64 after the uh, seven rounds. So, in my opinion, the only way that Charlton Young is going to win this fight is if uh, he's able to score a knockout on Rob Salazar. But again, I'm unofficial. Not with me, you're not. <laughs> I'm going to take your word for it. Salazar with a good left, right, and Young is down. Right in front of us. Young is in great pain. Six, and that should do it. Seven. 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 Seven
eye. He's got his eye here. Oh, oh, Slay still. Doctor's coming in. Look at his son. Genty? It will be a oh, knockout. Right it's the yeah, eye of Charlton Young. The doctors are taking a look at him now. Get it down. 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 Get off me. I'm getting him up. Salazar is in about as much pain now as his opponent. Charlton Young. Let's take a look now at the barrage of punches that led to this. There's the front kick that came right up in between the gloves of Charlton Young and right in his eye. Down he goes. Unfortunate situation there. Terrible thing for it to happen to Charlton Young at this point. Well, it really isn't a pretty sight at all. Damn. Remember those foot pads now only cover the top of the foot. Sometimes the back of the foot can really graze you, and it appears that it was his eye that was really hit hard. Looks to me like he's okay. The doctor, I think, says he's all right. Well, continue from Longview, Texas. The champion is still Rob Salazar. While we were away, Charlton Young did get up and managed to get out of the ring with some assistance. We'll tell you about uh, exactly what is wrong with him in just a moment, but right now let's get the official decision from our ring announcer, Warren Bradley. Warren? The winner, ladies and gentlemen, with 103 in the eighth round, still the United States champion by knockout, Rob Salazar. Salazar, the champion, now 19 and 5. What happened was that it was a right front kick coming from Salazar that did uh, tie up the eye. In fact, it was the front eyelid, the right eyelid, but his eye is in good shape, we're told. So uh, Charlton Young will be all right. Let's go up now to John Worley standing by with our United States champion. John? Congratulations, Rob, on a, on a great fight, really. I think uh, you answered a lot of questions about whether or not you were really ready to be back here after a layoff, after that last loss to Alexio. You looked very, very good. How did you feel? I felt excellent. I felt very, very good. I felt in control the whole way, th way through, from round one all the way through. Um, a little nervousness, had to work that out, but other than that, I felt my timing was there where it wasn't when I fought, uh, when I, when I fought Alexio in Sacramento. Uh, Geez, I mean, I, I mean, it was there. It was, it's on film. It's, it, I just felt excellent. I felt everything was working, uh, dropping a little bit, a uh, few, few mistakes. I felt that I was doing. My corner brought him up to me, but otherwise, excellent. I felt great. I noticed that uh, really defensively, you looked to me like you've made a, quite a bit of improvement. That's one thing I said early out is that well, Rob Salazar never really has much of a defense. He's more of an offensive fighter. Have you worked on that quite a bit? Ex yes, very much so. My, my coach here, Jimmy Lacasa. Mike McNamara and Rick Weber, we've all worked on my defense, extra hard on my defense and some new moves, trying some new, two new moves in the gym, uh, but really a little extra on my defense since uh, you know, I felt that that was a little, some, one of my weak points the last time also, as well as throughout, throughout my career. The big question now, what about Dennis Alexio? You guys want to try to do that again out in Chicago this time maybe? Need I say more? <laughs> Is that my answer? You better believe it. Where are you? Okay. Where are you? I mean, let, let's put it this way. How can he fight number nine rated fighters? Where is he? I mean, how about number two, number three, number four, number five, number one? Where, where, I mean, where is he? If I may say thank you to all the people in Glendale Heights at the, at the, the boxing club, uh, all those people that give me all the support and help me work out, uh, thank you very, very much. I really appreciate it. Oh, yeah, and my one, one special friend, Ed, Ed Bard, who also helped me a lot on my offense and defense. I Great. thank you very, very much, and I thank ESPN. And uh, my heart goes out to everybody. And I really hope that Charlton's going to be okay. I, I, I know I got him real good with that, with that front kick right in the eye. I thought I got him in the nose. It felt very, very hard when I hit him. And, and when I saw him go, boom, you know, then I, then I knew. I knew something was wrong. I, well, fine. I think he's going to be fine. There's no problem I there. So. And I'm sure, again, that uh, everybody out in Chicago and out, everybody out in Sacramento is very interested in seeing what happened here tonight. I think we'll uh, look forward to that fight with you and Dennis Alexio once again. Oh, yeah, let's get it on. Okay, Tim. All right, John, thank you very much. We'll return with final comments from Longview right after this. Tonight, Aaron.